Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy Noah back again with another YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I help people awaken to their true abilities through wellness and spirituality. Let me take these off. And thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can attract whatever person you want into your life. And I've made videos about this before on my channel, but today I wanted to come on here because I've learned a lot from since those videos that I posted about how to attract any girl in your life, right? I made a video about that. I made a couple videos on how to attract whoever you want into your life. But today, I wanna to talk to you about details that I wouldn't have mentioned in my previous videos as well as just overall what I've learned since then about you know, law of attraction as well as attracting specific people into our life. And so without further ado, how you can attract <laughs> how you can attract whoever you want into your life, whatever person you want. You see, and the point of this video isn't about attraction really, surprisingly. But it is about who you are that attracts this person. You see, a lot of times when we talk about attracting specific people into our life, a lot of it is about, you know, attraction. But something that we miss a lot of the times is the person who we are, right? And so I think it is important to find your purpose. Now, what do I mean by your purpose? I believe that everybody is here for a specific reason, you know, and your purpose can be related to anything that makes you feel good, anything that you enjoy doing, right? Just simply that what it, that is what your purpose is. And when you are working towards a goal or if you're working to towards building a structure in your life or a foundation in your life, that is going to be very attractive to whoever it is that you're attracting. And whenever you're in your purpose, right, finding your purpose, simply put is following your heart, right? We have to start listening to what it is that our heart wants, right? A lot of the times we end up listening to people from our exterior reality, right? Our friends, certain family members, certain people who we meet in school, right? Certain people who come into our life. We tend to base our life dictated off of them. But in reality, we should be focusing more about what it is that we want. You know, and and so I asked you, I ask you, I say all that to ask you, what do you want in your life? What is something that truly makes you feel happy? What is something that you love doing? Something that makes you feel inspired, right? Whenever you can find something that you enjoy doing, that is instantly going to be attractive for this other person, right? That's a huge part of it, but that's gonna be the only thing that I'm gonna be talking about in this video that has to actually do with you know, attracting. The next thing that I'm the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is letting go of expectation, right? And what do I mean by this? A lot of the times we have we go into relationships having so much expectation, right? Or if we want to attract a specific person into our life, we often have so much expectation. But with expectation comes a lot of limitations, right? Because there is multiple different outcomes that could happen in terms of a specific person who you like, right? Or you are attracted to. 
and so it is important to drop those expectations and to realize that the universe has stores it has plans in store for you no matter what and so whether or not this relationship works out in your favor right don't get consumed so much by the outcome practice detachment you know practice not being attached not feeling attached to anything you know because we have to realize in our life things are going to come and go right and you know it makes us suffer a lot less when we are detached from not only material things but outcomes right in our life and so this holds true with in terms of attracting whatever person you want into your life right it's very important to be detached from the outcome right don't expect anything when we go into certain relationships right or if we go into trying to attract certain people into our life without any expectations it's actually a lot more funner because you don't really know what you're gonna get right you could have that person really not like you and it just go up really not the best for you but anytime that that happens anytime that you face rejection it's actually a blessing in disguise because that person was never met for you right that's the universe's way of communicating that that person doesn't need you but more importantly you don't need that person right and so honestly rejection is a blessing in disguise because why would you want to attract somebody who doesn't like you or who doesn't want to be with you right isn't part of attraction attracting someone who is attracted to you right so if that person is attracted is not attracted to you why would you want to attract them in your life? right and so this is why it's so important to let go of expectations and this kind of goes hand in hand with detachment right we're so a lot of the times we expect so much out of people but when we set expectations for certain outcomes then it leaves us most of the time disappointed right and it leaves us a lot of the times feeling empty because we feel like we missed out but in reality it's because we set an expectation for that person right and so if there is a certain person who you want to attract in your life let go of that and of any expectations that you have with the relationship with that person and you'll notice that it's a lot more fun that way because it's more it's a lot more like a video game right when you play a video game you don't know what's gonna happen right you're just playing it unless you've watched YouTube videos about it right but you're playing it you don't really have any expectations because you don't know what's gonna happen but it makes it more fun right it makes it a lot more enjoyable before I go I want to talk about one more point that will truly help you attract any person that you want into your life right this is oh this is going to sound a little bit counterintuitive but sometimes the universe has other plans in store for you now what do I mean by this oftentimes you won't find people you know oftentimes if you aren't attracting a lot of people into your life this means that you need to be focusing on your purpose right the universe wants you the universe has different plans in store for you right this is a realization that I had about myself just recently honestly I was talking to my best friend about it yesterday and I told her that the reason that I don't get a lot of you know you might feel like you don't get a lot of attention from the people who you're attracted to right but the reason for that is because the universe doesn't want you to be with anybody at that moment and that and this might be hard to hear you know this might this might be something that you don't want to hear but this is something that I feel like needs to be said because I think that a lot of us feel like we need to be with somebody 
right? But every time we feel like we need to be with somebody, we're missing out on valuable time to spend enjoying with ourselves, right? And that is a realization that I had, you know, I'm not getting a lot of attention from people who I'm attracted to, but it made me realize that that is because the universe doesn't want me to be with anybody right now. You know, and this might be the case for you as well. And it's not a bad thing, right? Because the universe is only setting up scenarios for you to be with people who are right for you. You know, that's all that that means, right? It's not personal. And so if you feel like you're not really getting a little duck that passed by, but if you feel like you're not really getting a lot of attention from the people who you're attracted to, realize that it is because the universe wants you to work on yourself, right? The universe wants you to work on your purpose, right? Find what it is that you enjoy doing. And you'll see that the universe is always setting up scenarios for you to win. You know, and winning always, <laughs> sometimes winning doesn't always mean attracting that girl into your life that you are, that you want, or attracting that guy into your life that you don't want, right? Or attracting that person that you want in your life, right? And so, the most important thing that I can leave you with in this video is that maybe the universe, right? When I say the universe, I mean God, our higher selves, source, whatever you want to call the creator, right? Higher power, if that is what you believe. But, so maybe that is the universe's way of telling you that you don't need to be with anybody right now, right? You need to be, the only person who you need to be with is yourself, right? And, and so because of this, this might be a message for you. Work on yourself. Find what it is that you enjoy doing, right? Enjoy spending alone time with yourself because this is when ultimately we can learn the most about ourselves. And when we're ready to be in a relationship, or when we're ready to attract that person who we want into our life, they will be there, right? The person who you want in your life is waiting for you. They're waiting for you to work on yourself so that you can be ready, right? And so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you want to check out amazing wellness products that have boosted my energy levels naturally as well as boosted my immune system as well as these products can help with natural cell repair right cell growth in its own check out the first link in my description it'll get you access to up to 25% off of these products if you'd like but with that being said, my friends, have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at. Take a deep breath and just say, hallelujah. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you're at. And peace, love, and happiness. Mwah.